It's the, the best. best. I have the best pizza. Don't believe me? Hear from my customers. It's the best. Try it for yourself. Order in the link below at shop.wizkids.com or at your local game store. Tony's. It's the best. The best. Hey guys, welcome to Dial H for Hero Clips. I am so excited. We get to continue our booster break series kicking off this week. We already started it back during the Champion Clicks event in Florida. We got to see some pretty cool stuff when we open those boosters. I was a big fan of the Echo Show, so I was really happy to see that Prime Kingpin. He's super cool. The goofy cast and crew of characters from She-Hulk, like the Leapfrog and like the Mr. Immortal sculpt is just so funny. So I hope we get to see more fun sculpts and stuff like that. Oh, the Super Arcade Bishop, who's just insane. So yeah, I hope we get to see way cooler figures just like this. Now we haven't seen anything from Werewolf by Night yet, and that's like a personal favorite show that I really want to see what's going to be in this set. As well as, you know, a little bias here, but Marvel and D Disney last year had the Steve Rogers the Musical at uh, the Hyperion in Disneyland, California. So I am so fingers crossed. A few people have already like mentioned it in some like WizKids posts that we get to see like the actor Avengers from that show. And I think that would be just, oh, it would be so cool. So there's a ton of cool stuff that can be with this like next phase in this set. So let's just Let's just crack right into it because the last time we did these back in Champion Clicks, we were able to raise a ton of money for the International Player Foundation, which was super cool. It's going to help bring people from across the world to worlds this year and raising money for that is just so awesome. So let's crack into these boosters, see what we get. I know She-Hulk's going to be a big part of it because we saw a ton of that stuff, but I'm, I'm really hoping this black and white World Finite stuff. That's what, I'm, that's what I'm rooting for here, guys. So let's see what we get. Ooh, okay, right off the bat, we get some She-Hulk love here. Instantly, we have lawyer She-Hulk, and she, ah, oh, man, she's hitting the, the objection, Phoenix Wright pose. I'm a, big, I'm a big Phoenix Wright gamer fan, so I love that. We got Vacation Hulk, we got Tracksuit, we already saw Kazi, we already saw Clint Barton, and we continue with these special little pack insert cards, which I really like. So this one on the back, okay, so on the front, it is this... Wong and Madison chase card figure. So we get a kind of a sneak peek at a chase figure. We have Madison in her oversized weird hoodie, sweatshirt, snuggy thing, eating popcorn with Wong, kind of in that one episode of She-Hulk. And the other side is another kind of She-Hulk bit, but it is a manila envelope that says copyright claim. And we get a phone that's doing a live stream with, I assume, the Titania figure that's going to be in this set. So maybe there'll be a copyright claim ability that Titania has. So that's really cool, I like that. I'm loving the use of the pack inserts, that's so fun. So let's pop out. We'll talk about Rare She-Hulk last. We're gonna go over Tracksuit and Hulk first, Kate and Clint, uh, well, Kazi and Clint, sorry, Clint, uh, can be popped out. Okay. Yeah, tracksuit first. Expendable Goon Tracksuit Mafia. That's awesome. Probably very similar to the old, old Expendable Goon trait. So he's Magia, he's Brute, he's got a baseball bat, he's pointing at you, he's gonna get you. When tracksuit is KO'd by an opposing character, after resolutions you may roll 8d6, 1 through 3, choose a friendly character and move them one square, even if it's not your turn. Ooh, that can be kind of cool. That's still a move, so they would still have to move a breakaway roll, but that's really neat, I like that. Four through six, generate a character with the expendable goon trait on its 15 point starting line, adjacent to a friendly character. So it's the classic other part. They have Underworld, they don't have any other special abilities. He's got a little sidestep energy explosion and power toughness. And then I love a 15 point line that is just a sidestep and power super senses. That makes them annoying enough to try to get rid of, but also just, man, a cheap and power, especially one that can carry. That's cool. I like tracksuit, that's fun. Let's do Hulkster here, Avengers Brute, Celebrity Monster Scientist. We get to see the Avengers Initiative TA come back. I don't know how useful that's going to be for Hulk. Uh, it will be useful. Okay, he gets, well, let's just get into his abilities. Being a Hulk asks for balance, so he's got super strength, and then characters within three squares can't use Battle Fury. That's kind of cool. This dude's like anti-emotional modifier tech in a way. That's kind of neat. Emotional modifier rotated. It's not the line. What is the line? Doesn't matter. It's what Big K wants. Just keep going. Jeez. Oh, I mean, look at this dial. This is a really cool, like, 80 points. I know I'm looking forward to, like, the Adepticon sealed. This is a great piece to pull, that 811, 18, 4, super strength. That's awesome. His special attack power, Quake. When Hulk knocks back one or more characters, double the amount of knockback. When Hulk is given a ranged terrain action, he has a minimum range value of 7. Hurling the boulders into orbit. That's really cool. That's all Hulk does. I like that, though. I like the, the shock of bra hitting the... 
the nice waves hang 10 <laughs> Hulkster here. Yeah, he's super fun. Okay. Objection. My ace attorney, Phoenix Wright, she Hulk here. In place in the courtroom. She's all about it. A bomb stay therapy session. So free remove an action token from she Hulk. If you do give an action token to a friendly character with the Obama stay keyword within four squares, it's a fun ability. Avengers Celebrity Brute. Objection. Oh, she straight up has just objection as a power. This has got to be a full Phoenix Wright reference. This is too cool. Outwit. Once per turn, when an opposing character within four squares is given a free action, she may immediately roll a d6. Three through six, that action resolves with no effect. Is that once per turn? It's okay. It's once per turn. Wow. Imagine someone tries to drop a construct on you and you just go objection and it just doesn't happen. That's so sick. So she's 60 points. She's she's She-Hulk, but she's a lawyer. So she's more so, she can still hold her own if there's a fight, if a Titania comes in the courtroom to wreck her. But she's more so just like that objection power, which I really like that. Oh, that's funny. So she's our rare in this pack. Oh, that is so sick. All right, we got to jump into the second pack here. I'm really excited. Still no Werewolf by Night, still no, what was this pack? This was like Hawkeye show, it was like Hawkeye and She-Hulk, so that was the only two shows represented. Ooh, in that last pack. Let's see what we get, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, please, please, please. Oh, nice, okay. Okay, right on, perfect. Yeah, we got our Werewolf by Night figure. We have Jack Russell, the Werewolf by Night. I think those are our only two figures, right? Jen Walters, Hulk, Kate Bishop, already seen those. So it's Jack and Runa, the, <laughs> the Megan the Stallion impersonator. That's who that celebrity was. Yeah, who catfishes the one guy in She-Hulk's lawyer office. That's so funny that she's a, a figure that <laughs> gets made. Kate, Jen, and then what is our special thing? Okay, this is just learn to play, organized play stuff. It's got some Black Panther. OP kit, so that's nothing crazy new. It's not like the copyright claim token that we saw here. So let's see. We'll go with Runa first. We'll save Jack for last because he's oh, so cool that we get to see some World by Night stuff. Ooh, I'm excited. So Runa is 40 points. You thought you were dating a multi-award winning megastar. They probably can't, they probably can't say that. That makes sense. As Guardian Celebrity Mystical, shape change once per turn. When she uses it, you can reroll the result. Okay, that's cool. So she's a better shape change piece. 40 points, that's the Stealth, Precision Strike, Super Senses, a lot of Super Senses in this set, man. And then we have Perplex. Once per turn, when an opposing character within range and line of fire uses Perplex, that use of Perplex has no effect, and instead you modify Runa's defense plus one until your next turn. Oh, so she just straight up gets to negate an opposing Perplex. She's four range, two targets. That's super interesting. Might be a really cool pulp piece. I kind of like the messing with Perplex, having Perplex, the double shape change, the Super Senses, a lot of rollouts, the Stealth. She's kind of like... Super defensive, which kind of makes sense. She's hiding in plain sight type of deal. So that's really cool. Jack Russell, animal. He's a werewolf. Detective, monster, mystical. I am always saving you, Ted. Support, perplex, support as free, but only to choose characters the monster keyword. That was great with Dr. Frankenstein, so I'd love to see that back. 55 points. Ooh, this is a neat dial, just the changing. I have 100 deaths. Interesting. Stop. When this click is revealed, you replace Jack Russell with a character named Werewolf by Night on its last non-KO click. If you do, your opponent scores Jack Russell immediately, and he does not score a placement character this game. I assume that's going to be on click six. He doesn't actually have a special defense power anywhere, um, but it's there at the very least. Is that exploit? Interesting. Support, support as free. It's very, very interesting. So he's got some charge, stealth. He starts off in the shadows. It's very fitting for Jack. And then he charges, steal energy, heal up, and attacks people. I like it. I hope to see more of these. He's got mystics. Makes sense. He's a mystical being with the werewolf and all that stuff. So hopefully we get to see more werewolf by night. But that's the first couple of packs. We're just going to hop into the rest of this week. Simeon and Ian will join you later down the line. So hopefully you enjoyed sitting here with me, talking some Disney+. Plus. I'm excited. We got to see some the funny characters from She-Hulk like I wanted to. We got to see cool lawyer She-Hulk. We got to see old Jack Russell from Werewolf by Night. Hopefully we get to see some man things, some Elsa, uh, all sorts of other cool stuff in this set, guys. So stay tuned. Make sure you subscribe to Dial H for Hero Quotes. Comment below what you want to see in this set as we go forward. And yeah, just tell me your favorite figures, what you want to see. And then yeah, subscribe to make sure you get to see all of the cool unboxing stuff that's going to be happening this week and even more content for you. And for all your Hero Clicks content, make sure you dial H. Happy trips.